Tavolia is an amazing, magnificent place that drags tourists all over the world. But what makes this place truly great today? We're gonna find out together from the heart of Italy because we are going to Tavolia. Tavulia, Italy. Wait, stop. This is not go grande style. We gotta have an overexposed video. This is Tavulia. Now we're talking. Tavulia is a small town in the Marche region of Italy. It is located about 16 kilometers from the town of Pesaro. The town is located in the Valconca Valley, which is known for its rolling hills and vineyards. Tavula is known for its motorcycle racing heritage. The town is the birthplace of Valentino Rossi, one of the most successful motorcycle racers of all time. Tavula is also a home to the Valentino Rossi Museum and his VR46 headquarters, the team is home to several restaurants that serve traditional Marche cuisine. So small, so quiet, so peaceful, but yet so famous. This is the town of Tabulea, a hometown of Valentina Rossi. I'm standing on one of the hills around this place and we can see how small this town is, but it only seems like this from the side because if we go down there, it's really hard to get into the town. Sometimes due to fans and all those events due to valley they have here, they would close down the entrance of the city for the certain hours of the day. And this is what happened right now. I cannot enter the city on a car. I would have to drop it somewhere like this hill and walk all the way up there to Tavulia. So if you want to plan your trip here in advance, I recommend you to check the hours. Usually you want to get here before 10 a.m. Why do people of Tavulia, the Tavulians, like Valentino Rossi so much? Not only because he made this town famous, but he actually helps them with jobs. He attracts more tourists here. He made his offices right here on his own mother soil. And of course, he never left this place. Unlike many MotoGP riders like Jorge Lorenzo who has migrated to Switzerland and he lives there and many riders like Paul Espargaro who live in Andorra, Valentino Rossi lives right next to San Marino where he keeps his money obviously due to tax-free heaven but he still lives physically here and people of Tavulians love him so much. He's, he's a real icon of the town, icon of the Italy and he's still here despite all this global popularity living on his mother's soil with his people of Tavulia. Let's go see the town. With a population of over 8,000 people, Tavulia and its passionate people who live here are deep supporters of Valentina Rossi. This is a famous brick wall where they have always had a huge poster of Valentino, a guy, a legend who's always presented this town so well. Today, you can see right behind me, his team is already preparing something new, a new poster that will pop up here soon. I wonder what that would be this time. If you remember past celebrations, they were all starting here when he wrote his prototype straightly all the way down to Misano. He started out here and all those celebrations. If you ask any Tavulian around, what do they think about Valentino? They will pretty much say that Valentino is a part of the city. He's the one who supports it. He's the one who made it famous and he's the one who is always smiling around with his curly hair. You might often see Valentino popping up in one of those bars to have coffee. He often rides his scooter around here.
all of those famous celebrations were happening right behind me, next to this wall. Tavolans are very proud of Valley and they would never skip a chance to have a nice celebration with him. I've been watching Valentina racing since I was 13 years old. This was a time when I almost lost my knee and my leg due to inflammation in my leg. But luckily, it turned out to be okay. Back then, I realized that MotoGP isn't just a sport, but it's an art. And by the time when I was making this film, I was on another level. It's like I was another planet and I knew I just have to see the ranch with my own eyes. I have to be there. Tavulins take great care of the city. It's very nice. You can see there is a life here and everyone has their own business to do. It seems like Valentino plays a big role in this city, but he is not emperor and that's why people love him. The town's motto is Tavulia, Terra di Campignoni, which means Tavulia, land of champions. Of course, we cannot not mention the concept of the Sole Luna, which means sun and moon design, because it represents two sides of his personality. The sun represents his positive and humorous side, while the moon represents his darker and more competitive side. Located right next to the Leaf Wall of Fame of Valentina, you may see his VR46 official store. Up on arrival, you may see move on, which means probably his career. After some quality time in VR46 store, I finally saw it. A layout of the legendary Motor Ranch by Valentina Rossi. I realized I have to see it with my own eyes. This was my childhood dream. But how do I do that? It's full of security. And this is when I came up with something. Wow, this place is destroyed. If you look at every single window, it has amazing view. It opens up this nice panoramic view on whole Tavulia. But uh, a rich family used to live here. In case you guys wonder, what am I doing here? The answer is quite simple. I'm switching my channel to ghost busting thing now. We're gonna hunt for ghosts. Uh, who needs MotoGP anyways now? But seriously, this is one of those mansions where rich family used to live. Now it's completely like this. Ruined so and it has no security. And we're gonna go up and have an amazing top view on the legendary MotoGP ranch of Valentino Rossi. You cannot get in there. There is security standing always. In case of those events, the bicycle races, the motorcycle races, rally races around, and also when there's you know tourists coming into town with a special occasion whatsoever, they just close down the entrance. It's always hard to get to the ranch without special invitation from the VR46 uh, Academy, VR46 team, or Valley himself, but who said there is no a better place to get a better view. You don't have to pay to the bars around. There are bars you could pay and see the view, but I'm just gonna welcome you here in this mansion. Let's go with Grande Mansion, and you're gonna see it yourself. Do you hear this? Birds singing. What a fresh, nice air. No wonder why Valentino loves this place so much. You see, Valentino crafted Rancho because of his own needs. During his best years, he was training outside of MotoGP on motocross. And we all know how dangerous could it be 
not only for your physical health but for the championship points so it, during one of the trainings in motocross he broke one of his bones and he has to struggle I believe it was his leg he was struggling to get back into championship and that's when he realized he needs to train outside of track as well outside of pista but he needs to have new maneuvers to train for now there's two types of flat track existing the classic italian now the way valentina rossi has crafted it now with his new school italian school and there is a spanish school for classic flat track of spain where in spain they go around the circle and now they also started to have different direction but it's not as multi curved as the classic italian school here we have bigger wheels in dimensions and they have way uh, bigger systems like brakes they have front brakes here in Spanish school they just take brakes off away so it's different things to train and so Valentina school proved himself to be the best one in my opinion especially during the past years with high competition for his youngsters it's really expensive to maintain this track but it's also really rewarding in terms of the new generation this is what Valentina does he's not only supporting his own town but he supports his own nation of the young italian riders who come here to train he grows them he makes them stronger and there they are valentina rossi br46 the legendary ranch the ranch is about 200 acres in size rossi motor ranch flat track is a challenging and technical track the track is divided into two straightaways with turns in between the first straightaway is the longest at about 400 meters the second straightaway is shorter at about 300 meters. The turns are all relatively tight, with the radius of smallest turn being about 50 meters. The ranch also has a gym, a swimming pool and a spa. The ranch is also open to the public for tours and events. It's also home to a number of Rossi's trophies and memorabilia. I believe there is no doubt today that Valentina took MotoGP to another level. You may like or don't like Valentino, but you will always respect him due to everything he did for this sport. Just like the Bullins appreciate what he did for their city. The air of Tabule has brought so much energy to me, so much inspiration and so much peace at the same time. No wonder why, because it's a land of Soli Luna. Farewell, Tavulia. Terra di Campioni. <laughs>